Hello, my name is Bob Vandenberg here at the University of Georgia, and uh, I will be your instructor if you're going to take take this course. That is um, uh, on the one of the advanced topics in structural equation modeling being held during the third session of June, I believe. It's the um, um, the 21st, I think. But look at the Karma website for the exact date. So. Um, what I'd like to do is just provide a brief overview of what we're going to be covering uh, in this. Um, I will say up front, we will be exclusively using R, uh, the R package Levon, plus a couple of other packages um, that kind of help us um, um, uh, with a few things. And I will be doing it through the R Studio environment. If you're unfamiliar with R, and in particular the R Studio uh, interface, I would highly encourage you to watch uh, Scott Tonendandel's um, three-hour overview of our studio. That it's a video that's provided at the Karma website. Um, uh, when you uh, watch it and you uh, follow some of the instructions there and things like that, you should be quite comfortable uh, taking my advanced workshop. You are welcome to use other uh, SEM packages if you'd like. However, I will not be able to take time to troubleshoot those packages for you. You are going to be completely on your own with respect to executing uh, the, uh, the various modules and stuff. So we're going to cover three topics in particular uh, during this advanced session. It starts with uh, measurement and variance. I have to look at my notes, sorry. Um, um, a topic that's near and dear to me uh, and has been for over 20 years now. Um, but uh, I'm going to cover the Vanderbrigg and Lance approach uh, that was laid out in 2000, um, which is basically nine steps of measurement and variance. However, I'm going to modify it quite a bit because in 20-something years, we've learned quite a bit about measurement and variance and what it does well and what it doesn't do quite so well. So I'm going to kind of integrate a lot of lessons learned over the past 20 years uh, in, uh, into that particular module. And the reason I want to start the advanced topic with it is because the second topic, by the way, we'll spend probably a good full day on measurement and variance by itself. Uh, there's just a lot to cover when you think about uh, comparing multiple groups and then let's say that you have repeated measures. Now, now you have to be concerned about um, repeated uh, invariance across time of the same measures um, uh, being uh, given over and over and over to the same group of individuals. And the reason I want to have that qualifier is because the second topic is on latent growth modeling. And again, we'll probably spend a good full day on latent growth modeling. But one of the basic assumptions in latent growth modeling, remember latent growth modeling has to do with repeated measures okay, uh, across time of the same constructs, is that you do have invariance across time and in a multi-group context, not only across time, but between the groups as well. Okay, And so we're going to spend quite a bit of time on um, uh, touching base on both of those uh, types of uh, uh, invariance. Um, excuse me. Um, yeah, we're going to touch the invariance issue and then come back into the late growth modeling. Sorry. Um, but in latent growth modeling, um, we'll talk about things such as level one uh, models, which is just basically, do you have change in the variables you expect it, versus level two models, which is basically when you start putting the change variables into a path model that represents something of theoretical interest to you, in the sense of, does the change in variable X impact or cause a change in variable y. And again, we'll test a lot of different scenarios with respect to that leading up to a pretty complex model. Um, then uh, after we finish with the latent growth model um, part of it, we, we're going to talk about latent difference score analyses or latent change score analyses. LGM or latent growth modeling is basically when you have three or more points of time in measurement latent change models or latent difference score models basically have to do when you only have two uh, uh, measurements uh, across time. Okay, So you can still operationalize the primary variables, the change, which is what most people are interested in. And, and again, we're going to be spending quite a bit of time on those types of uh, scenarios as well. We'll go from a very simple one to much more complex scenarios and things um, in that. And then the last topic uh, and for the advanced uh, module 
is on recursive modeling. And recursive modeling is basically when you have a feedback uh, loop between uh, two variables, two or more variables in your structural equation model. Um, having that, uh, you know, a reciprocal relationship, as it's called, or a non recursive relationship, is basically the fact that it, it throws some complications into the whole structural equation modeling process, particularly in terms of model identification. Um, and so while we will eventually, and I say eventually uh, for, for a reason I'll uh, say in a second, but we'll eventually get into actually testing some reciprocal models when you have to spend quite a bit of time in, in talking about model identification. And when I'm talking about model identification, I'm talking about the structural part of the model and not the measurement model identification. Okay, um, it's 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 uh, again a foundational issue in your ability to be able to adequately test uh, these reciprocal models. Um, um, and I base a, a lot of this on uh, uh, an Ed Rigdon article that was published in 2015. Uh, excuse me, 1995. Quite a bit time later, but it's foundational in the sense of uh, it, uh, it kind of laid out what one needs to do to be able to adequately test those models and things. So, so once more, we're going to start with measurement and variance uh, with a lot of different topics underneath it, subtopics. Move on to um, uh, latent growth modeling, once more with a lot of different subtopics, and end the advanced session with a discussion about uh, reciprocal models and model identification. So I look forward to uh, meeting many of you um, in June. Um, and uh, um, if you have any questions in the meantime, I think uh, you have my contact information at the Karma website. And uh, feel free to reach out. Thank you. Bye.